G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, many of you are coming back from vacation or just about to head onto vacation and uh, potentially dreading the thought of coming back and opening up Microsoft Teams and having a million red little indicators showing all the activity that has happened since you've been away. Well, in this episode, what we're going to have a look at is how we can easily get on top uh, of all of that activity with a couple of little tips and tricks inside of Microsoft Teams and also just a little tip here uh, with some integration with Microsoft to do to help help you uh, when you return to work. So I'm in Microsoft Teams and you can see I've, I've been away, uh, but I've only got in this instance only five things in my activity feed, but it, it's going to give you an idea. Now you can see here, top left hand corner, I've got the bell, the activity, it's showing me I've got five items in here. So the first thing that I would do is I'd come into this activity feed and you can see I've got the option here to uh, choose the feed or my activity. Now being away, I won't have had any activity uh, because I haven't turned on Microsoft Teams, but in my feed, you can see I've got a number of different um, uh, unread things that have happened, all right? So in this, um, in this view here, I've got this little icon and it's the filter icon. So when I click on the icon, I can type to filter, all right, so it's gonna filter the, the messages or the items in this list, in this activity feed. Or I can now click these three little dots and here is uh, a number of different options for me. Now, the first thing that I would do is I would have a look at anything that, or any message that somebody has at mentioned me. So when I click on at mentions, you can see that that list is automatically filtered to any message that has, um, that. I have been mentioned in. And when I click on these, it's gonna take me directly to that message. So I don't have to go hunting around for things. It's gonna take me directly uh, to that location. Now I can remove this and a couple of other uh, really good filters here are all the unread messages as well. So as we go through here, you can see that in this list, I've got both read and unread. So as I work my way through uh, this activity feed, I wanna try and probably hide the ones that I've already taken action on or already viewed. So what I can do here is click on unread and now automatically I've got any unread message. All right, so let's remove that one as well. Now, the other two here that I'll bring your attention to is replies. So when I click on reply, that will be any um, any response or any replies to anything that I've posted there and also any reactions. Okay, so um, you can see here this top one, Megan has reacted to one of my posts. So I can see that, that the engagement that has happened uh, th across any of my activity as well. All right, now another little tip here is what we can also do is now we can create tasks in to do to maybe follow up on things. So you might be reviewing every all your activity feed, um, but you don't wanna take action on anything directly then and there. Now, obviously if it's a quick response or a quick reply that's gonna take you know two to five seconds, then you can probably do that on the fly, do it then and there in the moment. But if it's gonna take a little bit longer, a good idea is to um, make a note of that somewhere in a central location that you know you are going to go and check. Now that tool or that application for me is Microsoft To Do. So I can collate and bring everything uh, into the one place that I know I'm gonna go and check and I know I can then take action on. I have a number of different lists that are set up uh, and then I can then move things or uh, move items between lists. Now the great thing here in Microsoft Teams is I'm gonna filter by unread message and here is a message here that Megan has at mentioned me and there's a document here. Now I haven't got time to read this document but what I can do here is I can click the three little dots over the message, I can go to more actions and I can click on create task. Now what that's going to do is open up this uh, dialog box for me and I can also then choose the task list that or the list that I've got in Microsoft to do to, to add this to. I can set the priority. Now this is an important thing that I need to uh, that I need to follow up on. I can set a due date, so I want to have this done by next Tuesday. I do also um, want to just change the title. 
Um, let's just go f follow up on uh, important document. Not very um, descriptive, but good enough. Helps if I can spell. Then you'll also see here in the notes section that I've got the details of that particular message in Teams. And I'll then also have the link to that. All right, so I can add that task. Now, when I go and open up to do, that is going to be automatically added. Let's just go to um, the home page here. We shall jump into to do. And you'll see in the task list that that task has now been added. And also, I will have a link to that message there. So you can see here, I've got the title, I've got the due date, and I've also got the information here. When I click on the link, it's going to open directly to that message. Again, saving me time and I don't need to go and hunt around for things. All right, so I hope that brings you some value. If you are coming back from vacation or a break or a holiday or just about to head into um, a holiday, then there's a couple of little tips and tricks that can potentially help you save time when you come back to the office or come back to work um, to, to get a, a cross uh, and get a handle on all the activity that has happened in Microsoft Teams. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.